Welcome back. Hi, this is Alemi from Yayao Botanica in Newark, New Jersey, and we're doing another video. Today, we're doing a video on preparing a spirit broom. So preparing a broom with spirit, and we're going to be going through a demonstration of that. With preparing spirit brooms, I want to talk a little bit about spirit brooms. So uh, people use brooms for all different kinds of purposes. We would hear back in American hoodoo that people would say, oh, well, if you had a neighbor that came to your house that you didn't care for or someone that came to your house and you don't want them to return, to sprinkle salt on the ground and sweep behind them, right? So this idea of the broom is to really to clear away something or energies but it's really, really good for luck also. Sometimes um, we hear about, again, uh, in American tradition, that people use a witch's broom, which, um, excuse me, people use a broom for marriage. Right? And that really comes from uh, many West African traditions. But we know that when they jump the broom in a wedding, that's really, really good luck. So today we're going to be using La Madama to prepare the broom with her, but some people have guides, spirit guides that they know of that work with brooms. You can definitely prepare this broom for that spirit, but today I'm going to be specifically using La Madama because my La Madama already has her own broom and here she already has a broom attached to her. So this is actually her broom that belongs to her but today we're going to be preparing a different broom just for the sake of the video so also um, for people who are really really into working with machetes this is a prepared machete this one's very old and it looks old but this is a prepared uh, one that I refreshed um, the ribbons. So if people are interested in that, please send me a comment and I'll make a video for uh, preparing a machete for spirit. I've given her a little bit of light. You can use the tall Madama candle, like a seven day candle. This is a seven color one. It's really not necessary to do something so big unless you're gonna leave it with her afterwards. But for the preparation of the broom and doing the video, I'm giving her a red candle. I've already given her a little bit of libation before we started. I gave her some smoke. She is well taken care of. People come and put money on her all the time. They put food in her bowl. She gets coffee, flowers. There's all kinds of candies in here, which we're going to refresh today. Um, so she's very, very well taken care of. Back in the in history, brooms were the one of the ways that brooms became so popular in mainstream culture, as in spiritual mainstream culture, is the way that this idea really started was separate and apart from just a broom that was to clean your space and to clear away debris. Uh, herbalists would have different kinds of herbs that they would attach lavender, rosemary, oregano, tarragon, whatever different herbs they wanted, even poisonous herbs, and then they would bind it together. So witches, unfortunately, in the past were thought of as really negative and only wanting to do dark work. Um, yes, they did take some of the, the herbs off their broom and poison people, <laughs> but they also used the brooms also to clear a space. They would, they would fix the broom and then they would clear the space with the broom. Uh, they would pass it over people who were ill, uh, put it under beds. The list goes on and on and on. So with using the broom, that's kind of how that term the witch's broom came from. But uh, this is a, a small one. And this one is made out of palm, her broom. And so I'm showing you different types that you can pick what works for you when you're ready to do your broom. And so for the sake of the video, I'm going to use this one. And this one's a cinnamon broom, which everyone finds at this time of year for Halloween and so on. So this is what we're going to use for the video. And you may know other ways of doing this. That's great. I'm going to put a little bit 
of um, rum on the broom. I like to blow a little bit. We'll put some on the ribbons. Um, because this broom is going to be used both for luck, um, I'm g showing you to use the broom both for luck and for removing negative energy. We're using uh, different items that work with both. So again, you can put Florida water on the hand, rub it on the ribbons. In this case, I'm going to use a little bit of Kananga water, which is great for luck. And we talked about in a different video that that I don't know if you've seen, but hopefully you'll see it. Um, Kananga water was made popular in the island of Jamaica and it's great for luck and great for men and women. This is a work that is unisex. I really want to say that because there are times that men come in and they're very drawn to Lama Dama. This one is tobacco that I'm going to be using. And you could be making your prayer, right? You can be making prayer and affirmations with this now, talking, you know, things like, as I use this broom, it brings forth positivity, it brings forth breakthrough, it takes away negativity, it brings money to me, it brings luck to me, it brings new friends into my home, it brings people who respect my space, and so on. Whatever it is that you want to say or what you're drawn to. She lives in the Botanica. So, you know, I wouldn't be saying brought to my home, but I'd be saying to the store, right? This one's gardenia. Gardenia smells like gardenia is very sweet. This is a very loving scent and, and um, spirits that work with brooms that you would fix something like this for, hopefully will be a spirit that brings luck to you and luck to your environment. So... You use whatever colognes you kind of feel drawn to, but I encourage you to definitely incorporate the tobacco cologne, Florida water if you choose to, Kananga water is also very, very nice. So I'm going to put a little bit more here. I'm going to give her a little smoke too because you can use incense if you're not a person to use cigars. You can definitely use um, incense. And then now, you can also, I want to encourage you that you can also add bells to this. You can also add little tools, like in the store we have, in the Botanica, we have uh, tools. So it could be a pair of scissors, it could be a machete, it could be a little knife, it could be coins. All different things that come to mind for you that speak to ways that you would use the broom. So I want to show you two different methods. And so here, just, just for people who are very, um, you know, I've got some of you students out there who are great on asking me all these different questions. So I'm just going to give you a little preview. These are nine colors, right? You pick the colors you want, but I always encourage people to have as many primary colors as possible because primary colors are colors that are, as we already know, in nature, right? So... This is just the colors I chose. You can choose whatever you want, but as you notice, we've got some primary colors in here. We definitely have white, okay? So you can do this one at a time, or you can bunch it all together and tie it. That's your choice. Um, I think that if you're gonna do a broom for spirit in your home, it's good to do them either one or two at a time because then you can talk very slowly about what this color symbolizes, why you're putting it on. As an example, pink is a color for friendship. And so, you know, you can put that on, right? I like to put it where it's just about the length of the broom. So it's kind of like similar. 
And so for the sake of the video, I'm just doing it like this for you. But I'm telling you, if I was doing this by myself, we'd be kicking it in just a little bit more. So we've got pink and we can talk about what pink is. Blue, we know blue is also for family and for peace. So those of you who are interested in doing spirit work definitely need to study your color symbology, right? So we've got our blue here. And again, you would be talking about why you're having these colors. So you can also do it all the way up. You can have them bunch down like a, a like a like a mini broom, whatever it is that that, you know, as they say, floats your boat, whatever makes you happy. Me, I just like to kind of be a little free flowing with things, but you do whatever. One of the great things about spiritual work is that it allows you to express your individuality without anyone's comment anyone's opinions why because this is based on your your own feelings as we call it in the tradition your own ashe right ashe is what you're born with your own personal power right orange we know is one of the colors so one of the special colors for success so we're not doing any of this work never to be successful we're not being successful in life we're doing something wrong and spirit definitely can help us to resolve that so I'm gonna maybe flip it over do a little bit on this side because you know brooms can be used on both sides so this is a nice looking broom coming along and again, you can do this as many times as you want. You can knot it. You can um, cut this part off, make this long. It doesn't make a difference to me. Whatever your feelings are, you don't need to be artistic to do this. This is something, as you can see, we're building the broom. We're talking to the spirit. You, you would be talking to the spirit in your home about why you're putting these colors on your broom. What do these colors really mean to you? because now the spirit is listening and when it's time for you to use the broom you want to be able to I'm going to do something a little bit special at the end with that and so if you notice I'm using satin ribbons please don't use the fake stuff if you're actually going to do this try to use something that's real versus the plastic ribbon or that ribbon that curls and now adding last colors and I like to just you know kind of pull things together but again you do whatever works for you so you can braid these together in this case I'm going to knot it together you know again making your own prayer and affirmation for what it is your intention is here's our last one so like some people have colors that they love to work with this one I made a little bit different just for the sake of the video so that you can kind of see what you can do. You can put it together where all of the ribbons are falling from the same place. You can go up and down whatever way you like. I'm going to put this gold one right here by the orange. And, you know, some people like to wrap. So they're wrapping um, I would suggest that if you're going to do this broom, do not wrap it all the way down where there's no ribbon hanging off, right? So if you're going to do it, as an example, you don't want to just go around and around and around and around with yellow and then there's no yellow hanging. So this is just one example of a broom. You can do this any way you want. You can cut them all off to be the same length. You can tie some down, knock yourself out, whatever it is that you feel, right? So again, this is her broom, and she has another broom, which I don't have here right now. She ha and, but this one matches the broom that's here on her uh, statue. Your broom can live by your door. You can use it to clean your space. Clean your space as if you were doing a spiritual cleanse in your home. You can leave it by your front door, you can leave it by your altar, or something like that. 
again, look at this candle. We've only been going the time of the video since I started making the broom. Look at this candle. It's, it's just being consumed, just, just going away in front of our eyes. That's really good confirmation that the spirit is here, that we're working spirit. Spirit recognizes what we're doing, and that's always a thumbs up. So leave this here. Again, this is Alemi from Yeo Botanica. I hope you learned something today and see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, definitely like us, give us a thumbs up, share us with others, send us your comments, come visit us in the store and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.